TitleMatchNetwork.com. The Grand Wizard, people don't remember him, but he was awesome, Ernie Roth. No, there were certain guys that they had, back in the day, they had Freddie Blassie and then they had uh, Captain Lou and, and some other managers, but a lot of the wrestlers back in those days couldn't really talk or they they were Japanese, but they couldn't talk English, so they would do the interviews for them. Grand Wizard would I'd do that too. He had a great voice, real. But he would tell me to take the interview over because he says that's how you get. And I knew that people wanted to hear hear it come out of the wrestler's mouth, not necessarily a manager, right? Yeah. They want to see, you. and that gets you over too. You talk like you got some brains, and they can hear your voice. Yeah, well, this guy's tough. He means it, you know. So, great. Captain Lou was good. But Captain Lou, I would just laugh at him. And I had Captain Lou for a while, and, he, and I'd do some of these promos with him, and I'd, I'd look back on YouTube today where he would stand there and he'd stick his belly out. And, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, it was great. I love Captain Lou. Freddie Blassie was great, too. Pencil neck geek. That's right. That's he right. was famous for that line. What was the boys' reaction to when he was doing like Super Mario Brothers cartoons, Captain Lou? Oh God, they it? loved it. They loved it. I loved it. He was he was terrific, and he's a, he's really Captain Lou Albano was a person that met Cindy Lopler on on a flight from L.A. to New York, and they started talking, and uh, they were out in first class together and. She said, I'm a big wrestling fan. And so they made that connection. The rock and roll connection was made in United Airlines, water, whatever airline. I hate United, by the way. Delta, let's say Delta. <laughs> I like Southwest too. Uh, but Delta, so they made their connection there and they exchanged phone numbers. And, he, and she went to meet Vince and they started that rock and roll and that the wrestling album that came out, yeah. fantastic stuff. Just timing, timing. So the WWF WrestleMania one, they had the, they had Muhammad Ali and they had Liberace. They had the Hollywood Connection. They had Cindy Lauper there. You know, the rock, the MTV thing. Yeah. Word so it all story. took off. And it all took off, and, and wrestling, wrestling. We had Hollywood stars coming to watch wrestling. I remember going and wrestling. Uh, I'm a Gene, ha a Gene Hackman fan, you know, yeah, Gene, yeah. all those French Connection, all those. He's a great actor and he doesn't act anymore, but uh, I, I came out to wrestle. I think it was WrestleMania, one of those WrestleManias. And he gets up and comes up and shakes my hand. I go, holy Christ, Gene Hackman, how are you doing? So that, that was a Hollywood connection, and, and they were actually at ringside. And, you know, it was great. Yeah, probably the biggest run of any wrestling in the last, I don't know, 50 years or right. whatever it is. Yeah. Well, WrestleMania 1 to 7, I was in all those. And it was big time all that time. So. TitleMatchNetwork.com